Good morning, Pipers. Hope you're all well. Friday morning, my weekend started. Day off from the day job. So I've been in the gym, post gym pie. Uh, in my Rhodesian, one of mine, and in it I've got Sutley 507. C is it the Virginia slices? The lovely morning smoke. I've uh, spent the last three days pulling my hair out. Not that I've got any. Trying to build a website and uh, I've managed it. It might not be the flashiest one, but it is somewhere where you can buy my available pipes, contact me, have a nosy about. And uh, yeah, quite proud I managed to do it because I aren't that tech savvy and Jesus. There were times when I were just like on verge of crying. But we'll see how it goes. So it's bjvpipes.com, but the link will be in the description. Right, I'll pop this down and we'll have a look at this pipe, which is called the Devil Dog because she is for a US Marine. And I've already done two pipes for a US Marine on this base in Hawaii and this Marine saw uh, Mike's pipes and uh, apparently Mike just keeps going on about these pipes and so he commissioned one, did Anthony and uh, just shown it for us before I came on here and he is very pleased with it and so am I. She is a stunner. And there she is. So he wanted, he'd seen a picture of my Peterson Rosari, I think it's a, you know, one of his 69 shape, something like that. And uh, so he wanted that shape and then he wanted a blue stem. Uh, so I had some blue and light blue Eldridge, Cumberland, knocking about. And uh, Oh, and he wanted the rustication like Mike's uh, Comet Pipe. So, everything else was up to me. So, we've got this lovely rustication I do. I don't really know what I call this. It's, it always reminds me of like a lump of coal. And I thought the black would go nice with the colours up here, make the colours pop. Rusticated rim. And then we've got a Aluminium uh, shank ring, which I turned down from a solid piece. And then we've got this lovely uh, blue and light blue Eldridge Cumberland, which he did for uh, one of my customers. Had seen an old polyester that Chris used to do mm -hmm. and wanted it for a pipe, I did. So he did me a rod of it. And so it's quite a unique, it didn't want to be standard range. But we've got quite a bit of light blue on this side and then more dark blue on that side. Then we've got the slot and the button and uh, it's a non-filtered. It's a really nice pipe to hold and it's pretty light as well. I can't remember what it comes in at but it's uh, I think it's under 50. Uh, it's a real, real nice feeling pipe to hold and I think it'll be a good clincher as well actually so that will be winging its way to Hawaii on Monday I've actually got another custom another commission going out on Monday as well I'll do a video of that tomorrow and get that uploaded which is a cool pipe so that is the devil dog obviously the marines one of their nicknames is the devil dog 
So I thought that it would remind me of that pipe that I've done. And the other pipe is a pipe that I just wanted to do shape-wise because uh, I haven't done one and I love the shape and it seems to have had a bit of resurgence. It's a Bing Special, uh, which is essentially an elongated billiard, about seven inch. Uh, and the reason I'm showing it here is like, I, th I think I want to keep it myself. So I'm going to show it you and maybe if someone really, really wants it, I might let it go, but I haven't got a long pipe like this in my collection and it's really light. It'd be a great, great pipe to add to my collection. Anyway, here it is. So we've got a blast. Some nice rings, upright rings on that side, and some lovely bird's eye. I do like bird's eye when it gets blasted, gives that creator effect. Quite a lightweight ball, so not one for chuggers. It's a nice sipping pipe, this. Sit back in a chair, sip away, nice and gentle smoking. We've got this brass ring on, and then we're into this polyester briar that I had knocking about uh, which I think really goes lovely with that tan and yeah it is about seven inches long so uh, man I want it I, I want it do I keep it do I not keep it mm, I don't know I'm all I look at it. I've, I've actually had it on my rack <laughs> uh, next to my other pipes and uh, it does fit in well. So anyway, I wanted to show it you anyway. Uh, even if I keep it myself, I want to show it you because it's a beautiful pipe. So yeah, two, two pipes for you there to look at. Uh, so a bit of a Brucey bonus. It's going to be another hot day here that's why i'm really enjoying that this virginia in morning because i smoked a few vapors on a night when i got back from work and it's like 20 25 26 here which i know it ain't hot compared to what some of you guys has have but it's hot for june in this country and uh, i don't know if it's like because the ambient air temperature is warmer but They've been burning a bit hot, my tobaccos. So I don't know if this has happened to anyone else or whether it's just me or maybe maybe something slightly off. Uh, let me know if it does or in the comments. It'd be interesting to know. I'm going to catch up on the latest episode now of uh, Obi-Wan, see what's happening with that and uh, then back to making some pipes I guess. So check out the website, let me know what you think of the Bing special, let me know if you've got any problems smoking when it's red hot and uh, if you want to chat about what else, bang it away in a comment, why not? Uh, I try and reply to everyone, so uh, it's good to chat. So, anyway guys, the weekend is upon us. I shall see you tomorrow with another uh, commission to show you. And as ever, my friends, stay smoky. <laughs>